Alrighty, well that comes to the end of our little Cape York adventure. We're actually on our way home now. Um, we've been up this way for about three months. Been one hell of a trip. We've done some cool stuff, filmed some cool stuff, had a few dramas with the car and the boat and trailer and all that type of thing. Um, but yeah, little Miss Hannah wanted to do one more trip out in the boat. She was really excited for that. So um, I had to um, grant her wish. I was really pumped for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She loves it. So that's it, last hurrah, here we go. We've just rolled into this beautiful little bay here. A bit of a travel. Little Missy slept the whole way, didn't ya? Eh? Had a good sleep. Which is nice. She didn't sleep real well last night, did she? <laughs> Definitely not. We're probably lucky to get two hours sleep last night. We had to get up super early because the boat ramp that we were using, it's kind of tide um, dependent whether you'll get the boat in or not. And so we, we got here really late. We arrived here at midnight. No, yeah. 12.30 or something. Close enough, mm -hmm. yeah. And then Little Miss decided it was party time from about 12.30 <laughs> till 2.30, mm -hmm. which was excellent. Anyway, a bit of brekkie. Wheat bix and granola. Hannah's feeding the baby banana on the boat. On a I fish forgot. On a fishing trip. I forgot. That's alright. That's alright. Now if we don't catch anything, it's not my fault, it's her fault. We're gonna have a bit of brekkie, a bit of clean up here and then um, a bit of fly fishing. I do I'm gonna shovel down this brekkie so I can set up a rod. fishing front. Um, we've got one little permit, baby one didn't even bother filming, it was only like, oh maybe 250 mil long, proper bubby one. But, um, hooked a really good GT and my fly line tied a knot and then pulled the second last guide out and bust the GT off. I was extremely happy about that and the wind has now picked up and she's fairly howling. Oh, and we've got a thunderstorm brewing over the back here. So that one there, we've been hearing thunder for a bit. That's, it's, um, it's, it's panning out to be a, be a pretty good day, really, yeah. Time to go home. <laughs> we've got to dodge this storm first. Well, the fishing's a bit slow. We started to get a bit blown out on that other side. <clears throat> so we come out, come out the front here to try and find a good anchorage for the night. So that um, there, is a, there is a storm that's brewing all the way along the coastline. We can hear the thunder going. It seems to be moving north, so hopefully we don't get hammered. But we're sort of on the, on the most outer islands here. I just noticed rock slides. There's heaps of them on this little island. There was one back here um, around the corner here near the boat <clears throat> and it, 
it's gone up but we can't see where it's gone down so maybe it's gone up and over the island gone out the, on the other side and it scared it out of me I'm running up and grabbing me and I'm sort of looking making sure he's not sitting up on top beautiful little island <clears throat> She's a bit steamy, I tell ya. Storm brewing over the back, you can feel it. She's hot. There is heaps of crocodile slides on this little island. Must be chasing the turtles because there's turtle tracks up here too. Come up here and then I think he's gone through the bush. There's another crop track just here. You see turtle tracks? They come up looking for the eggs. Cheeky buggers. Turtle tracks all over the joint. The crop, the crop's gone down that way. Way of life though, eh? everyone's got to eat. Little miss is going to start running here shortly. Well, that's another day done and dusted not a bad day on the water i think the bananas have um done their dash blew up the top of that fly rod lost the gt and wind blew up got chased by storm but atavia was happy because she had banana <laughs> so that's all that matters that's all that matters we've just been blessed with an absolutely epic sunset it was um amazing that, uh, that storm that went past left all that cloud left over there and that sun sort of dropped just below it and then lit everything up. It was awesome. <laughs> got a heap of footage on the drone. We've got a nice little anchorage here. I couldn't really find too much sand underneath the boat. I'm kind of hoping that uh, we don't wrap around the rock, but didn't matter what, what island, what bay, what I went to, they're all the same. So it is what it is. And I was getting hungry. I'm enough. Got chicken stir fry on the go, looks glorious. Mm. Tastes pretty good too. Alright, little miss has been down, you can hear her squawking. Got a new little setup in here, not sure if you'll see it, it's like a little little uh, dome swag thing. Mozzie dome quarter clock. It's Another excellent, one. eh? It's awesome. Proper good. 20 Fits bucks on marketplace. Unbelievable. Fits in there um, perfectly. Bloody good. Alright, Tucker's just about ready and I'm starving. See you in the morning. Well, that was an interesting little night. We're inside a little cocoon here. Had a big storm come through. Um, we didn't get too much rain out of it, but some bloody hectic wind got pretty, pretty crazy there for a bit. I did try and film a little bit, but it was too dark. You might see a little bit of lightning in that. Um, we set up a heap of tarps and hid underneath these because I'm um, trying to stay out of the rain and that. Rolled the swag up. I'm just sleeping on the rolled up swag here. Hannah's tucked herself inside this little cocoon. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Push the baby aside. Push the baby aside and jumped in. But yeah, no, that was pretty hectic. Um, good storm come through. Hannah held her own, ripping up the anchor and that. I oh, did good, eh? Did good, Jug. Did good, Jug. Uh, not too sure what's going on today. Um, try and have a look at some flats. See what the go is. The old cloud situation outside our cocoon doesn't look real flash. So flats might be off limits. We'll see how we go. Might do a bit of jigging. We're on our way home, I mentioned that yesterday, so if we get some fish, we might be able to take it home and, um, yeah, have a bit of feed at home. Anyway, got to pack up this little 
set up here, make coffee, wee bix, sort our life out. <laughs> Tavia. Hello. Let's have a look out and outside our front door. <laughs> storm <laughs> good morning good morning what a night mm. Underneath all this carnage might be a couple of finger marks. You got him? You got him. <laughs> a bit heavier. Found a little bunch of um, fish here. And Hannah's getting it handed to her. Whoop. Good. Double hookups here, not sure what they are yet. We got a couple of little trevally before this. Yep, mine's a trevally, a bit bigger than the last. Bring it home, Mama. We want a big finger mark. Be nice. It's a trevally, huh? Trevally Queen. All right, we'll move spots after this one. Heap of trevallies there. You happy about that? No. <laughs> We left the, um, the little trevally back there, so um, kept catching small trevally. We ended up getting the shits with that, so we left them. Poked our nose around the corner because we're in sort of a little bay there. Got smacked in the face with um, smacked in the face with a nice big southeasterly breeze. So we've been punt we just punt spent an hour punching into that. We've still got another probably two hours to go. This is hell. So we're taking a bit of a moment. We're going for a walk around this little island here. Look at all these little birds in there. Hmm. Yeah, poor Hannah. I wanted to show her a nice, nice little trip before we went home, and the weather is just shit. Yeah, it. ruining. I said let's just go home. He said no. Go for one more trip. I don't know why he just doesn't listen to me, but anyway. Anyway, here we are. Making the most of it. Well, this is a bit different to last time we seen you. The Han Roadhouse. Beautiful little roadhouse. This one, heaps of bird life. There's a little, um, <clears throat> oh, I can't remember what they're called, them beautiful birds with all the colours. It'll come to me in a moment. See if he's here. But yeah, we got rid of, um, we took off out of that 
that ocean there she was pretty hectic over there and uh, it's the end of our Cape York journey now so we are on our way back down to Cairns pack up that house um, and then hit the road again hey mum yeah you ready for bed <laughs> she loves it oh right. thanks very much for watching our little Cape York episodes we've had a ball doing them hopefully you've enjoyed watching them uh, as always make sure you hit that little like button drop a comment if you want to know anything about it and also um, a huh? bit of feedback Hannah reckons she wants to hear the good bad uh, and the ugly but um, most of all make sure you hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming ones from here we're heading west so Cape York done and dusted on the greener pastures hardly greener I think it's red as hell over there isn't it yeah far blue from green very blue ocean but good fly fishing anyway <laughs> thanks very much we'll catch you on the next one